Hey, this is Eric, and in this video we will take a look at the new option to add audio to a Pear Deck Google Slides activity. Pear Deck is an awesome add-on for Google Slides that allows you to add interactive elements to your slideshows. When you run the slideshow through the Pear Deck add-on, the students can join the presentation with a code and follow along slide by slide. As they do, the students can respond to interactive questions including multiple choice, text response, numeric response, drawing, and drag and drop. And all of these responses are collected for you as the teacher. You can learn much more about Pear Deck through the videos and blog posts on my site at www.controlaltachieve.com slash Pear Deck. For this video though, we're going to take a look at a new feature that allows you to add audio to the Pear Deck lesson. This is especially helpful if you are running the Pear Deck activity as a student-paced lesson. So the students can hear you speaking, to give instructions, read content aloud, provide a personal connection, and more. Here's how it works. First, we'll start off by saying we already have the Pear Deck add-on installed, and we have created our Google Slideshow, and we've added some Pear Deck interactive questions. Again, you can get all of the details on the basics for using Pear Deck at www.controlaltachieve.com slash Pear Deck. We now want to go through and add audio to several of the slides. If we don't have the Pear Deck add-on opened, we can just click the Add-ons menu, then Pear Deck, and then open Pear Deck add-on. In this example, we already have it open here on the side. For the first slide, let's say we want to record ourselves giving a greeting to the students to make a more personal connection with them. In the Pear Deck add-on panel, we will scroll down and click on the button for Add Audio to Slide. This will open a window where you can record or upload your audio. For this slide, we will record the audio by clicking Record. Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. The audio will start recording automatically and you can click the pause button when you're done. If you messed up, you can just click the delete option to try again. If you want to record more, you can click resume. In this slideshow, we're going to take a look at some math basics on angles and shapes. And when you're all done, click save. You can now click the play button to hear your recording and make sure everything sounds good. Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this slideshow, we're going to take a look at some math basics on angles and shapes. If there's any problems, you can always click delete and try again. Otherwise, click add audio to slide. The recorded audio will now be added to the slide as a little rectangle in the top right hand corner. Feel free to move the audio around the slide or make it bigger or smaller. You can even drag the audio off the edge of the slide and it will still work fine. If later on you decide that you need to delete or replace the audio, you can just click the Add Audio to Slide button again. And now you can delete the audio and record a new version if you want. Now let's move on to the second slide. Instead of recording a greeting, this time let's record some instructional content. Parallel lines are lines that are in the same plane but never intersect. This means they can go on and on forever but will never cross or touch. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a right angle or 90 degrees, like the corner of a square. On our third slide, we can record some audio to give directions to the students. So think about the world around you. Where might you see perpendicular lines in the real world? Type in your response to give an example. We can keep doing this for as many slides as we want, but let's try something different on our final example. Instead of recording ourselves, what if we want to upload some audio that we already have? In this case, let's say we want to add some relaxing music to add to a mindfulness break slide. As normal, we will click Add Audio to Slide, 
but now we will click the Upload button and choose the MP3 file we want to add. We can now click Add Audio to Slide as usual. So when we are all done adding audio to the Pear Deck lesson, what does the student experience look like? Let's take a look at that. We will start the activity as normal by clicking the Start Lesson button at the top of the Pear Deck add-on panel. If we were presenting this live to our students, either in person or in a Google Meet video conference, we would choose the option for Instructor Paste Activity. However, if we want our students to work through the lesson on their own, we would choose Student Paste Activity, which is what we will do for this example. We can now give our students the join code, which they can enter at joinpd.com, or we can copy the join link by clicking Give Students a Link at the bottom, and then we can paste that link into Google Classroom or into an email or whatever way we wish to provide the link to our students. Let's switch over to a student account now and we'll paste in the join link that we just copied and provided. The student will now choose their normal school Google account and the Pear Deck lesson will load. As the student works through the slideshow, for any slide that you have added audio, they will see a headphones icon in the bottom right hand corner. The student can simply click on that icon and then click the play button to hear the recorded audio. So think about the world around you. Where might you see perpendicular lines in the real world? Type in your response to give an example. This works for the audio that you recorded as well as the audio that you uploaded. The ability to add audio to a Pear Deck Google Slideshow is a great way to make the activity more engaging for your students. You can connect with your students with an encouraging message, or provide instruction, or explain directions. You can even use this feature to read a story to your students and then use Pear Deck to collect feedback and answers to the questions. And for every student, adding the optional audio recordings increases accessibility. So those are the basics for how to add audio to a Pear Deck Google Slides activity. For more directions and ideas for using Pear Deck, be sure to visit my Pear Deck page at www.controlaltachieve.com slash Pear Deck.